What's going on, everybody? We're back with another video. If you're new, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning guest, you know how we do kick off our shoes, like, and share the video. OMG. Krishan finally let the cat out the bag. She's finally admitted that allegedly Tasaki did some bad things to her when they was growing up. In the little brother, allegedly. Something is something is way off. Where, where was the mother in all of this? I'm not understanding how nobody hold these people accountable, even as young teens. Like, I mean, did they ever sit down and talk about it? Or, you know, Krishan stated that she was sorry, that she forgave Tasaki, but... You know, now that her sister is, you know, coming out and wanting to fight, allegedly do all these different things, Krishan said, okay, I'm going to let everybody know what's my problem with you. And so now Krishan is allegedly coming forth and letting it all out and just acknowledging the fact that allegedly her sister touched her in some wrong ways, allegedly. This is wild, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to even come of all this. I think the whole family needs help. The whole family needs counseling. I feel like the mother is wrong for not taking these children to get help, allegedly, if she haven't done so. This whole video is alleged. There's no way that everybody in the house, allegedly, that's come forth, that's saying that they have been touched. This is crazy. So what? what's going on? What is going on? What is going on? It's like all the children have some things going on with them. At least the three or four or five that, you know, we've been introduced to come forth with these, you know, stories and these allegations of allegedly being touched or fondled or whatever the case. And now Krishan is coming forth with her story and saying, listen, this is why I don't mess with her. This is why. But you, she was, but they was cool before. Tasaki went down to Zeus and got on. So I'm not understanding, you know, now they back at square one with the you touch me situation. You know, I feel like, again, I'm always going to say it's never too late to go get help. It's never too late to go get counseling, to get therapy. This family really needs to sit down as a whole and figure it out. And I don't think that it is on Blue Face Mother's show. I think that is the wrong place. I think that is a form of betrayal. Regardless of what's going on with Tasaki and, and Rock, I feel like they need to go to counseling and sit down as a family and talk about some things. Because in fact that all these siblings are saying that this young lady did this to them. Allegedly. You can't not acknowledge that what didn't happen or happen. You cannot turn the blind eye and act like these things didn't allegedly happen. Why are they coming forth now? I don't know. Again, it seemed like the higher the fame, the more stories are coming about. The more people are allegedly using these stories, excuse me, to, you know, gain some kind of seniority within the social media community. I think that is wrong. Again, I think the whole family need to get help. I think the whole family got issues. I think that even down to the mother need to snap out it and even now grab hold of her children. You know, because this is crazy. They should be talking to therapists, not social media. And Blue Faith Mother, she ain't here to guide nobody and no therapist. Why would she be wanting to sit down with Tasaki and discuss some things that she might have done? Do she know that if she goes over there and admit that she can still be charged allegedly educational purposes only? So let her go ahead over there and follow behind blue faced mother and find herself in trouble. Because that right there is really gonna take rock off. And if this is fact indeed did happen, she's gonna come for it even harder and she's gonna definitely probably file charges on her faster than she will file charges on blue. I don't know, y'all. This is getting weirder and weirder by the second. Like I said, I feel like this whole family need help. This whole family need therapy. I don't feel like inviting another person's functional family member into the situation is going to help anything. I just don't. That's just not the way I'm saying things. Y'all make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a blessed one.
Enjoy, 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 and peace.